Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, more big news in the cryptocurrency space. Today, it looks like it's XRP's turn and Litecoin. So we're gonna cover those in the news and in the charts. Of course, we wanna see these tokens take off. End of the day, we wanna make some money. And that's what Litecoin looks like. It is finally setting up to do against its Bitcoin value. We're also gonna look at big chain link news and Bitcoin news, don't forget about that. And then of course the Bitcoin dominance, which is setting us up for this alt season, this long continued alt season, which we've been seeing for a couple of months now. If you love the sound of that, let me know. Hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much to everyone that entered the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. I've got that coming up at the end of this video. I announce the winners of the 100,000 subscriber. And you also get an email for that too. So stick around for that at the end of the video. It's pre-recorded. I wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to get their name randomly drawn out of the selection. We had over 1,800 people uh, enter that giveaway. All right, that's a very long intro. Thank you very much, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let's dive into the news. Now, we've been covering XRP for the last few days here. People were asking, where were you talking about XRP before XRP moved? right back here three days ago, probably four days ago now actually. And we could just see it setting up on the chart. It's a very simple pattern. So check out that if you wanna understand it a little more. Yesterday we saw XRP hit a dollar. Today we're gonna to talk about some Litecoin, but I just wanted to make mention to that in case you wonder when I'm talking about videos, all of the thumbnails are back here and you can see which cryptos we're talking about more or less in these thumbnails. Go ahead, subscribe on our way to 110,000. Big news coming up tomorrow actually, not next week, but I'll release it next week. I'm doing an interview with the CTO of Terra Virtua TVK. You know, it's a favorite of the channel. Uh, so if you've got questions, leave them down below here and I'll create a list of questions to ask the CTO uh, when I film with him tomorrow, which is Thursday, Australia time, Thursday evening. So yeah, go ahead here. It's also on my Twitter. So if you wanna go and follow that, you wanna have a bit of a say, you wanna find out a few things, Go across here, leave your comments down below, follow us, me on Twitter, Jason Pazino, there is only one account, so go ahead and do that and check it out. I've got a few other interviews coming up as well with, with other projects, so stay in touch, let us know which ones you love the sound of in the comments down below. Now, Google Trends, we've got Litecoin, XRP, Ethereum, NFT. Bitcoin is still above all of these, but let's just break it down here. Yellow is Ethereum, it is dropping off. Green is dropping off, that's NFT. Red is dropping off and blue is also dropping off. I'm not sure why these are dropping off in the trends, but it looks like we're beginning to set up. I just think people don't have the patience to wait it out. Sometimes moves take days or weeks and if you're not willing to wait and you expect things to go up the next day, probably not in the right game. Like these aren't about getting gains the next day. You have multiple opportunities to make gains in these markets if you can be patient. Now, pretty sure I'm not talking to most of you guys because if you're familiar with the channel, you know that we look for setups, we're patient, and then we get in at the right times and then look to exit when things get absolutely parabolically crazy. So at the moment, maybe we're just waiting a little more time. Let's wait and see and move on to the charts later in the video. Uh, fear and greed is something we always look at. 72 is today, 75 is yesterday. Last month, up a little bit higher at this point last month, so looking at around the 7th of March. Now, with this, just a bit of a gauge, we normally see this peak when Bitcoin is in new all-time highs, and it just sits around this greed area as Bitcoin trades at good levels, but nothing crazy. You know, we're just hovering in that 55 to $60,000 range on Bitcoin. So I think this is a good sign for alt season to continue moving as well. The retail traders, they generally come into Bitcoin when Bitcoin is going into new all time highs. And then the money starts to flow down into the other areas of cryptocurrency into the other sectors, like the major altcoins, and then the smaller stuff because people love to gamble on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing because they missed out on Bitcoin and then they missed out on the major caps. And then they missed out on the medium sized caps and then they start going for the really risky stuff and then they lose and we start the cycle all over again. Okay, <laughs> some news. Traders issue warning as altcoins are booming and Bitcoin consolidates. Just what we're looking at there. Uh, I haven't issued any warning yet, but maybe I'm not part of these traders. To avoid big losses, you gotta be okay with taking small ones, said popular crypto trader Loma. 
Uh, most people are having their underwater position saved because it's a bull market and prices inevitably go up. They go higher. Loam added, warning people not to confuse luck with skill. Now this is the bull market. When prices continue to go up, pretty much everyone can say anything will go up and it does because everything is moving up. Once we get into a bear market or a change in trend or a sideways market when we start to accumulate, things don't move, things take a long time. And that's what we saw through 2018 and 19 and a lot of 2020, most people weren't here. So if you wanna be in the space, getting the gains when others aren't and they all come in late, you've gotta stick with it throughout the years. And someone's asked on the channel before, are you gonna be here when the bear market's on? I've been here through the last bear market and the previous bull market. So if that's an answer for you guys, stick around on the channel and you'll start to see the patterns play out. You don't have to add that much time to it every day. Just stick with it through the bear markets. Polkadot, Polkadot investors unimpressed with Tether news. So Tether is coming onto the Polkadot network. Uh, we haven't seen much of a change in Polkadot's price because of this, but I think that's just because there is so much other, uh, all of our attention is in so many of the other projects at the moment. So a lot of the attention is being moved elsewhere. And eventually when the attention cycles back around, into our polka dots, etc. then this news will circulate again and people will be like, wow, why didn't I know about this before? And then the price starts to move a little bit stronger. That's my view of this sort of news. We've seen it before when it's like, why isn't this coin moving? There's so much great news. And then a month later, everyone realizes, oh, here's the news, here's the narrative has moved. And then those coins start to move. I think something similar will happen to polka dot. And of course, Polkadot is already in new all-time high territories and potentially like we've looked at in previous the recent previous videos it's accumulating at new all-time high levels which is a, a good sign it's a Wyckoff theory it's GAN theory it is working out very well if you're unfamiliar with those come to the investor accelerator there is a course link down below subscribe to that and you'll understand a little more about trading and how these markets look rather than just try to buy on a hope and a prayer all right so now the large chain link news, Grayscale Digital Large Cap uh, Fund, Grayscale Investment, said that chain link has been added to the funds, funds portfolio. So Grayscale adjusted the funds portfolio by selling the existing fund components in proportion to their respective weightings and using the cash proceedings to purchase link. So here is their basket fund, uh, nearly 80% Bitcoin, 17% Ethereum, about 1% in each of Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin and Chainlink. So pretty big news for Chainlink and we have started to see the price break out of its sideways pattern. More news for Grayscale and a new project here, NAMI. I haven't heard of this, but looking at the website, it looks pretty reasonable. Grayscale is filed with Delaware Corporate Registry in the US for a new trust for Ethereum based second layer blockchain scaling platform, NAMI. Okay, so the platform partnered with Microsoft in 2019, thus offering offering its solution on the giant's cloud computing platform Azure. To be clear, NAMI is not in discussion with Grayscale about filing a trust, nor are we in discussions with them to create such a product. Okay, so uh, NAMI is just saying they're not talking with Grayscale about this, but Grayscale is potentially creating this. So I've looked at CoinGecko and the prices here are getting up. We're down about 25 to 30%, but we're coming closer to that 0.8 of a cent. Circulating supply is 120 billion. So if you add those together, we get, we're somewhere around a 900 million and a billion dollar project. We don't know how much is actually out in the market according to CoinGecko. So I'm just using the total circulating supply here. We don't know what's actually circulating. So that's all I have to work with at the moment. But overall, it looks like a pretty reasonable project. NAMI is a revolutionary layer two, uh, provides unrivaled throughput, low latency, instant finality, and predictable fees. The system is live and ready to build on today, which many other layer twos aren't. Uh, but of course there are plenty that are. With plans to bring NAMI's raw scaling power to both Bitcoin, Neo, and Libra in the near future. So, could look into this one a little more. That's about as much as I have on this. I just saw it as part of the news there. And there's another layer two. We know that layer twos are a part of the narrative that are getting pushed at the moment, which is why I thought it was something interesting just to have a quick look at on the channel. Ripple, the big news. Ripple, everyone's been waiting for some Ripple stuff. Ripple wins ruling to expose SEC docs on Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
Ripple's up, we know that. Essentially, Ripple wants to see what the SEC was saying about Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I guess they can start to form their case when they go back to more court hearings. So the SEC didn't want to give them the paperwork about their thoughts on Bitcoin and Ethereum. They have won it, the judge said, give it to him. That's pretty much where we're at. So now I assume XRP Ripple is actually going to go away with the documents to figure out uh, another plan of attack when they come back into court to hopefully win it for them. And I think that's why the price is still head up, held up reasonably well. It's not like it was bad news. It's just like not news that you can do that much with at the moment. They did win a little bit. They got some information that could definitely help them. Coinbase, just a little look at their earnings because of course this is coming out uh, as an IPO very shortly. Coinbase reports an estimated 1.8 billion in total revenue. So it's not profit, but just total revenue for Q1 in 2021. This is all just news for their IPO, of course. You know, it's just trying to really push that. Coinbase is a fantastic company to invest in. This is what happens at the beginning of IPOs. You know, you just got to push out as much good news as you possibly can when you are listing your company to get that highest price, get more headlines, get more investors. And, you know, the whole circle jerk continues on with uh, the media and finances. People just throwing money at anything at the moment. Not saying it's a bad company, not saying Coinbase is a bad company. I, obviously, they have profits and it's going to do well. But if you just understand, it's just news feeding, news feeding, news like YouTube, everyone's just feeding more and more news to you to try and get you to do something that they want you to do. That's essentially the narratives here. And we're trying to decipher that and clear out some of this noise and just take it, take the good stuff and then use it in our, our trading as well. Bitcoin network activity has increased above 1 trillion market cap. I just see this as some more news, some good stuff for Bitcoin. It's probably going to bring in some retail like, wow, you know, this is a trillion dollar business here, a trillion dollars in Bitcoin. It's been sitting above this trillion dollar market cap for about 10 days now, as we can see on one of these other articles here. Uh, Bitcoin above 1 trillion for 10 days as crypto outgrows US banking industry. Pretty big news. You know, it's, it's just basically giving new people, new investors to cryptocurrency, an idea of where Bitcoin sits in the overall scheme of things. That's what I can see with this sort of stuff. Now, just a quick note on XLM. A crash of Stellar Network validators forces Bitfinex to halt XLM withdrawals. So the network validators crashed again. They did have a crash last year or the year before. So this is the second time something's happened with that damn network of XLMs. We, I'm bringing this up because we talked about it in relation to XRP yesterday that when XRP goes up, it's usually not too far uh, behind that XLM does a bit of a run as well. So I just wanted to make mention to that because this might be something that holds it up. It might be something that scares someone out of their position. You know, it's crashed, but look, we've seen the sort of these things before and the engineers have continued their attempts to repair it. They haven't done it just yet. We await further instructions and information from them. That's the news. We're going to get onto the charts. Remember to like the video up if you haven't already and you found some value from it. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 110,000. All right, BTC dominance continues down. Look at these days. We are about seven days down now. Down, 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 down. We'll eventually get a little bit of a turnaround. I don't think we're gonna come back and break these levels above 61% anytime soon. This is, yeah, look, we've, we've cleared out these lows. We've cleared out this low and this low and all of these lows. I think we are going down to test our next support level like we've been looking at for months now. Somewhere around 54. We've got another low here at 52 and then 50. Okay. Obviously, we've got another high here. Why does this matter to us? It's like Bitcoin dominance. Who's actually trading it? We're trading it overall when it comes to the market and where the money is flowing to. And at the moment, the money is looking like it's flowing into some of those altcoins. We can see on the side here, we've had a few red days at the moment. A lot of stuff is down, but nothing major. We're all in single digits, except for Omise Go, which is a layer two Ethereum project. It has broken into new recent highs, and away we go again. Pick your target. That's what we got on this one. Bitcoin is next on our list. Now I want to quickly cover Litecoin, Ripple, XLM, Zen, moving up again. 
AVAX, it was mentioned in the group today in our Investor Accelerator group. So if you want, like I said, there's a link to that down below. Get it before the price goes up. It is due to go up, but you might have a little bit of time because I had a, quite a few emails from people asking if they can get it at the cheaper price. Go and check it out down below. Link, BTC breakout, Grayscale, we know that. OMG just had a look at. Zill still holding. TBK, all right. Bitcoin, we are here now. So we've got those to cover in just a moment. But Bitcoin is still just holding its position up here around 57 and a half thousand US dollars. Volumes are a little light on and the volume days that are increasing are the days that are up. And this is still a reversal. So it's still an up day. The days that are down are lower volume, which means there's not as many sellers. And I think we're just waiting for this to break out. And so I've seen quite a few news reports of this potentially taking off. People are looking for Bitcoin to surge. If that happens, we're not going to get the altcoin season that we're looking for. That's my view and what we've seen in the past. When Bitcoin's in all-time highs, it's a bit harder for altcoins. Maybe this will be different. Maybe this time will be different and we'll all shoot up together, except their Bitcoin values may stay stagnant or fall. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so that was Bitcoin. We're still in the same position as the last few days. Bitcoin dominance is crashing. Litecoin, and then we're getting on to XRP, but Litecoin has been a major one. You know we've not been buying it on this drop, 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 drop. We want to wait for a, a sign that we're going to get a reversal, that we're going to break through. Currently, it looks cool. You know, we're up 20 or so percent from these highs, obviously a lot more from the bottom, but from a signal, we're up about 20%. I'm not saying that these are buy signals or sell signals because it's not financial advice. What I am saying is look at the education and look at the charts and the data. And we still are in a very strong downtrend against Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin. This is important because you want to reduce your risk. You might have, might be better off in Bitcoin than Litecoin. Not financial advice. I'm not telling you to do one or the other. I'm just saying read the charts, read the charts. Litecoin at USD obviously looks good. It looks like we're going to break through these highs here. We've just broken this first high. We've got strong volume on the breakout. Not as strong as back here, but we are stronger than the last month or so, which is a good sign, very good sign after some consolidation at these high levels. So if you're only concerned with USD, then you know it looks like a pretty safe trade at this point in time. Not a buy signal, guys. Uh, LTC, BTC, back to this. This is the main one here. Uh, so I'm looking at this as a potential trade as we form another consolidation at these levels. I definitely want to see it above where we just were. So I want to see it above this level and consolidate at least above the 0 0.38, 0 0.38 percent. So you know, that's what we're looking at on the side here, 0 0.0038. If we can get a nice consolidation above there and a breakout of our major, major downtrend. This is over a year downtrend and over 725 days down from this 2019 top. Don't forget that. If we can get a consolidation and a break, then we're looking nice and sweet for some sort of returns. This is my my first levels are around those tops, right? So it's only 30% to those tops, 30, 35%. Then we come up to those at about 50 and then these levels. I'm going to bring it down here just to be a little conservative at around 80%. So somewhere in that 30, 40% and then 80%. Remember, this is against Bitcoin value, not the US dollar value. So about 80% I think is pretty safe at the moment. And then my next levels I'm looking at are these lows as a resistance, you can see you can see there's quite a lot of lows here. And then we head somewhere up along this ladder and then wherever we come up against the pink line here. So we could be at around 190% up to about 240 odd percent. This is our Bitcoin value. So we could triple our Bitcoin value from a buy signal somewhere in this region. And if we have the nuts to hold it up until this point with it's not going to go straight up. There's going to be some times where it retraces and bounces around. So that's that's the risk that we take trading altcoins to get more Bitcoin or more US dollars. I need to go on to uh, Litecoin a little bit longer because I think that breakout is imminent. So that's where we are there. Finally, after two or three months, XRP close above a dollar like we just looked at with XLM. I'll leave that one. Just make note of that about that network crashing and uh, quick look at XRP because we have been tracking this. It is just under a dollar at the moment. Now, it's possible that we have just spiked up on a couple of days of news waiting for this ruling and then the market just plateaus out. So what I want to see is consolidation above 
some of the highs because the news has come out, they've got some good news, they've got some information, now they can go away and work on it until the next hearing. In the meantime, I don't think XRP is going to continue pushing up unless there's some other sort of news. So we want to see some consolidation, whether it consolidates above these highs at 90 cents, that would be a great start, or it, continue, it, it starts to fade back down into these levels at around 65 cents, I wouldn't put it past XRP. So anywhere of consolidation uh, from 65 to 90 cents and then above the 90 cent level, that could be a good area until we maybe see another move at some point. But like we've seen with XRP, it's very short lived bursts and then we've got to be tracking it for months on end. So keep that in mind as well. That's XRP. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look at Zen because it's something that continues to shock me as a buy. It just continues up. The volume is increasing again on this latest break of these highs at $66. This one is a staking uh, token, a staking coin. It's, last time I looked, it was around 6% per annum. You can use 42 Zen or for a super node, it's 500 Zen, which is now quite expensive for a lot of people. Before, it was at around five bucks. You know, it was sitting down here at five bucks. So it was a pretty cheap super node. Now it produces about 0.75 of a Zen every week, which means that's about 50 US dollars every week for a super node, which you'll need 500 uh, Horizon or Zen coins for. So this is just broken out again, volume is increasing. I'm gonna keep tracking Zen. It's, a, it's one of my favorites of the previous uh, cryptocurrency bull market. And the Bitcoin chart isn't looking too bad either. We've broken these highs here at around uh, 100,000 Satoshis. So good start or you know, good start into this next leg. That's Zen. Uh, I'm gonna look at AVAX and LINK and we'll leave the rest uh, until the next video because I've looked at those time and time again. AVAX and quick look at LINK before we hit AVAX. Link USD $33. There's the breakout. The next breakout. Guys, look at this. So here's the first volume break. Break of our downtrend. Break of the high. Retest the downtrend. Retest the triangle here. All right. See that how it comes back, tests it, low volume, and then the volume picks up again when the market moves up. So the buyers are coming in. And these levels, let's throw a horizontal on there. These levels at around 32, 33 are beginning to hold as support again. These are the these are the old levels. Now we've got this level at around 32, 33 dollars. So we now we see hopefully see a consolidation here before we continue up. Link is looking quite safe in that regard, in, in my opinion. And we had the the Bitcoin value uh, some consolidation down at these low levels, which is great because we don't want to be buying link when it's at these high Bitcoin levels because we're just losing out on our Bitcoin value. All right. So these are in the low levels and it looks like it's breaking out on its USD value as well. So link is another favorite of mine. We've seen some good news. We haven't seen it do much for months. That's always a good sign. This is on the Bitcoin chart. Uh, so that this is just another good uh, high cap, large cap altcoin. I was going to look for that. But yeah, it's a large cap of somewhere around 12 billion. So I think it has the legs to run another, you know, we could get to a hundred dollar link. You know, it's just three times from this point, 12, 36 billion. We see a lot of those big smart contracts in the 25, uh, in the $40 billion range now. So I think it could definitely get there. I think we could see an over $100 link, which we've talked about before in uh, months gone by. Last thing, AVAX. I did a lot of work on this one today with the, uh, one, of the, one of the guys in the group, sitting at around $30. Now, just seeing this as a consolidation, uh, overall, the, the simple thing here is if we break down beneath these levels of around $23, then my next target is at 14. That's, that's a little bit worrying. These are always much harder to trade, although it does look like a accumulation zone at the moment. We won't know for sure until we get a break of the highs, a reaccumulation or a push straight through and we continue to break this high at 38 and then the next high is at 42. But overall, uh, Avalanche is looking like a pretty good deal at the moment especially there. So this is the risk. The risk is that it's not an accumulation and it's a distribution. People selling out and it drops. But with the risk comes the higher reward. The higher reward is if it is accumulation, nothing left on the market, all of supply goes, which means it's easier for the price to shoot up. So that's your risk and reward. Just looking at the pure maths of it all and the chart. So always take that in consideration when you are trading. All right. So 
Keep an eye on both the charts, Bitcoin and the USD. We'll come back to Avalanche. It's looking like a good little one here. It hasn't been talked about a lot for a long time, which is another beautiful sign that I love to see because uh, when it's been talked about, when, you, when people message it in the comment section, it's usually these sort of days here, early to mid-February, and it just shoots straight up and everyone's like, what about AVAX? What about AVAX? And, you know, two months later, we're, we haven't passed those all-time highs. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys found a lot of value from it daughter is screaming in the next room so i will wrap it up here be sure to check us out on twitter instagram daily q a's check out my portfolio my super fun portfolio if you want links to that they're all in the description down below if you're asking about smsfs retirement funds the link is down below to call with someone 20 minutes for free uh, new brighton capital the link is down there crypto tax is down there as well crypto tax australia and uh, the other links to like i said in uh, twitter instagram and the investor accelerator course go and check that out down below learn how to trade and invest for long-term success to the winners i'll cut that in here it's a couple of minutes long check it out this is the winners of the giveaway i'll say peace out now and i'll see you at the next video till then check out the winners and have more fun to get more done all right guys the time has now come to announce the lucky three winners of the 12 month membership to the investor accelerator that's the cryptocurrency and stock market trading and investing course which you can find a link to in the description down below now the price is going up in the next few days so make sure you are onto that if you miss out in today's lucky draw so three of you are going to win one 12 month membership to the investor accelerator now I have all of your email addresses in here. Everyone that had submitted their email address up to the 31st of March. This is for the lucky 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So all of your addresses have been submitted into this website here, random slash eyes.com pick from list. I assume I haven't done it yet, so no one's going to miss out. I, I just have to click this pick one and the results should show up here. So I haven't tried this yet just because I didn't want anyone to miss out just in case their random result came up so basically let's get a let's get on with it and click this three times so drum roll these are for the three winners all right let's have a look first one is shane i'm not going to read out the rest of the email we're going to announce two more and basically for for you guys you will get emailed as well to let you know that you have won and you got to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so i'm reading these out and if you're not subscribed to the channel then obviously you don't win so make sure you are subscribed to the channel all right next one we're going to draw out and if it has an easy name i'll do that i'm not going to read out the full email address because i don't want to give anyone's away princey all right i'm leaving it at that next one lucky last this is the the third winner of the 12 month membership so if you do want to get a link to this if you do want to join the 12 month membership link down below as the prices are going up all right here's another one last one Tw oh, two letter two letter all right guys you are the lucky three winners of the 12 month membership i've said that multiple times already look out for an email from us in your inboxes if you don't see them make sure you check your junk you guys are the winners. If for some reason these guys aren't subscribed to the channel, then they miss out and I'll redraw that. I won't make a video on it. I'll just redraw it. That's long enough for this. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Your support has been amazing thus far. We're on our way to 110,000 and hopefully 150 and 200,000 throughout this cryptocurrency bull market. All right. Congratulations once again, guys. Thanks again for your support. Look out for more giveaways coming up on the channel.